and welcome to Change Toy Collection UK. Hey there, and welcome to Jay's Toy Collection UK for another action figure video. And as we film this, it is the 15th of February 2024, and that can only mean one thing. It's your boy's Got Toys birthday. So happy birthday to Alexi. Go give him a follow over on Instagram. And last year, we started this tradition on the channel that on your boy's Got Toys birthday... We've got a look at the Mayfax collection. So today, we will do it once again. It is the full Mayfax tour for 2024. And it's once again, it's Marvel versus DC. Who is going to win? We will find out together. Now, as you can see, it might not be me on the camera. It might be Cheeky Monkey Kiara. Or is it? Is it Inception? It's a birthday surprise. So here we go. Without further ado, let's get into the collection. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what's happened here, but uh, a McFarlane figure seems to have infiltrated the display. I wonder who did this. I have to get rid of it now. Shocking. Right then, a lot has changed in one year. So the top shelf now is exclusively DC. So we will start with this shelf. And front and centre, of course, is my dick. What else could be front and centre? Utter filth as ever. On the channel so the hush collection now is on the top whereas last year it was in a cube and one of these figures I've literally only just unboxed today and that is your girl up there poison ivy so I'd actually forgotten I hadn't unboxed her and had to get her unboxed just in time for this video because I thought something doesn't seem right I know I've got another character somewhere so I haven't even added all her accessories yet but what an outstanding figure she is in person. She's got loads of sort of vine effects to add. A couple of briefcases and money effects, which are pretty cool to see. So I will have to get her back down and uh, give her all the accessories. But Poison Ivy is there. So, of course, I do have the comics on the back then. So, because it's DC, we've changed them all to DC. So we've got the Vengeance of Bane and we've got the uh, Jim Lee Batman Hush. And over there, we do have a new one for this year, which is from the Crisis on Infinite Earth issues. And a classic Brave and the Bold bit of Batman over there. So Hush literally takes this, this corner of the display. The Bat Signal is from... It's a little book that came with like the history of the uh, of the Bat Signal. I think I got it from WH Smiths or somewhere. So that has appeared. It does light up, but there are no batteries in it at the moment. Uh, Todd is still in the display there. Jason Todd, that is. But that is the McFarlane Toys base from Hush but I'm actually using it with the DC Mafex versions of Hush here. So Nightwing there, of course, is front and centre. I mean, a lot of people's top ten lists, but literally as he's teetering on the edge of my display here, I have used the stand because mine does have a habit of just slightly tilting and falling over. So he's at the front, and of course Hush is behind him there. And again, using the flight stands you get with Mafex, they are pretty good stands. Sometimes you've got to tighten them with the screw. But there you have Harley Quinn. And again, she is a very, very shiny metallic figure. She's been in that pose for, well, probably a year, I would say. And her hammer is still, well, still fully erect, isn't it? Look at that. That hammer hasn't flopped at all. So Harley Quinn can really keep it up. We have the Joker there as well. Not my favourite design of the Joker, so he has been sort of a sent to the back of the shelf so I can't always see him from the seated position because I'm not a massive fan of the sort of a uh, skinny nose I don't know why it just freaks me out a little so he's at the back of the display there is Batman himself of course with a massive puffy cape on the blue version of the uh, Jim Lee Hush Batman I don't have the black cape version at the back there we will go up and there is Huntress and again using the wall and some uh, stands there of course using a few little risers I got off eBay just to sort of get some height in the display. And there is old Hush himself. That was an eBay bargain as well. Quite a while ago now. Because he had a bit of a damaged cape. His cape had come off. So I had to re-glue the chest. But I think it only cost £50. So damage fixed. And uh, pretty happy with that one. So that is the Hush portion. And over we go then to the Superman section. So a lot of these are of course based on the death and return of Superman. You can see all the uh, the lights dangling there. Of course, when I actually view this cabinet uh, from my seated position, you can't see all the lights. They are hidden, but I'm literally on tippy toes here. 
having a look at the top. So there is Cyborg Supes at the front. The Doomsday, of course, that is not from Mafex. That is a Doomsday coming from Mattel, actually. I think that's an old SDC exclusive version of Doomsday. So hoping that Mafex will do one. But for now, I think he does a quite good stand-in job there. Another one that's come out this year is Steel, and he is a fantastic looking figure there so so shiny articulation as smooth as you like so no problem with steel we have asriel batman there sponsored by mr who it seems there his uh his, his business cards get everywhere across the house but there is asriel again and super super shiny and at the back up there it's one of my absolute favorites it is the regeneration suit the black suit superman and his blast effects there Oh, what a figure that is. Absolutely outstanding figure. Mullet soups. And we've got plenty to come in 2024 for this shelf with Eradicator and Superboy due at some point this year, hopefully. So we are nearly there. We're completing the death and return of Superman. The final DC section. Then we go to Frank Miller and the Dark Knight Returns. And this year I've added in the playset. So the playset you see there is from Spin Masters, I do believe. So it is a three and three quarter inch scale set. But Carrie Kelly Robin fits nicely inside there. So she is sort of just a little hidden Easter egg coming through the display. We have the sort of absolute battered version of Old Man Bruce there. That uh, probably could be the best figure, I think, in the whole of the Mayfex range. But of course, this video is Marvel DC. So you do let me know in the comments section who does it better, Marvel or DC, when it comes to Mayfex figures. It's pretty close, but let me know your thoughts in the comments. At the back, we have armoured version of Batman then, from when he does fight Superman. Uh, they do have the lamppost somewhere. I must have that in another display. I think that's now with the uh, Mezco figures. I did have the lamppost and the street alley from there. And then we've got another one of the top figures of the year, I think, for last year, which is the Superman. I've got the battle-damaged face on there with the kryptonite arrow. Hopefully we'll get a green arrow or something from this. We are getting a new Joker and we are getting Batman and the sort of static horse. So I do have Batman and horse on pre-order and I do love that designer Joker. Absolutely classic with the Batarang, of course, square in the eyeball there. If I can get a bit of focus, there you go. So that is that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the DC section. So I'll just do a little pan across there. So we start with Batman into Superman. And then we go across again to Batman Hush. So what's to come this year as well? We have got Bane and Night 4 Batman. So they will be going front and centre for the display. I cannot wait for Bane. So this should be a very, very strong year for DC when it comes to Mafex. Right, and down to Marvel we go. And they are inside these IKEA Detolf units now. And last year, the Sentinel was here with them, the Marvel Legends HasLab Sentinel. But this year, it has gone back to the Marvel Legends display. So they have their own cube, and again, it's Jim Lee. So we have the Jim Lee version of the 90s X-Men here. Now, the light might be hard to get in here. I have set it to yellow, which seems to give me the closest to white I can get on the camera. I often kind of have these units set up in sort of a blue light, but that was harder to see. So if it flickers, I do apologise. But here is... Wolverine then, so I've gone for the brown costume Wolverine from that X-Men number one cover. The poster at the back, of course, is Magneto from the first issue of that classic 90s X-Men cover. Psylocke is in there, looking very nice for the female figures. I do like the female figures from Mafex, very very sort of good shapes on them, good articulation, and they actually stand up, which is nice to see. Look at all the Psylocke there, tiny little legs, but standing up, lovely. No jelly eggs here. So there we have Cyclops as well, again using the Marvel Select base, I think I'm using for Cyclops there. And the Sentinel you see is the Mezco Sentinel, so that is from the Wolverine set. One of the, I think probably the best figure in the Marvel section is Gambit here. That soft good jacket's really good, nice bendy wire. And really good articulation on Gambit there. Storm is at the back. I need to get another flight stand. That's why she's there. I'm going to get her sort of hovering, I think. Maybe fighting Magneto. And he was another figure that was released last year. And a very, very nice one indeed was Magneto. So if you've got any of these, let me know in the comments section. And they are very, very good figures. And then there is old Jean Grey there. So we know this year we've got uh, the green Phoenix Jean Grey to come. 
I think there's rumours of a Colossus and potentially a Beast, but I can't remember anything else particularly coming from this line. So we do need a few more characters, so hopefully we will get some more here in 2024. So that is the first X-Men cube. Now we'll go to the Avengers. Right then, so over to the Avengers cube, and here we have Iron Man and Thor, because that's pretty much all we have so far. So some work to do in 2024 and 2025 for Mafex, I think, when it comes to Avengers. We do know Captain America front and centre on that poster. He is coming this year, so looking forward to him. But we do need a Wasp. I uh, see the Submariner there. That would be a good one. Could do with a first appearance Iron Man. So plenty to come. Would love a Hulk. We could do with a Hulk, really, in, a, in the Avengers lineup here. And even a Hawkeye, I would take. So there is four. Of course, very controversial for apparently being too short. But if you do look at that artwork from the 60s, it was a shorter design there. And I think that is what they've gone for. And there is Iron Man on the back. Now, the Iron Man was a bit of an annoying one to get because you had to get the sort of 90s big blast cannon, which that version of Iron Man never used. The price was more expensive on that one. And again, the base I'm using here are Marvel Legends. So quite the more empty cube. So I'd say in terms of figure count here, DC is probably winning this overall, just because we have more sort of figures released so far. But that's the Avengers. Your boy Galactus is just chilling at the side. But we're going to have to go and find the Spider-Man section. And now, this year, that's located upstairs. All right, we've made it upstairs then to where you see me do the live streams. So if you haven't checked out this week in Toys live streams, do give them a go. Some good fun toy chat. But there's all sorts of figure lines represented up here from Figure Obscura, Berserk, Batman 66. And we have got the Mafex Spidey Collection. So with Spidey being my favourite Marvel superhero, he had the representation when it came to the background. But I was thinking earlier today, maybe I need to change this up. We'll get some He-Man in here, I think. So there could be some manoeuvres to come. But this is what I've managed to get so far from the Spidey collection. I haven't quite got all of them, but these are the ones I've, I've gone for for now. So we've got the symbiote suit at the front. And I do like the fact you've got the blue boots on there. I think that's a really nice sort of touch. They're not really boots, are they? They're sort of just a foot shading but it is nice to see the blue there the comic book blue and then we've got our first of a couple of ben riley spider-mans we've got the scarlet spider version at the front which is my preferred look i do like the soft goods hoodie you get on this one very very nice to see some soft goods from um mafex here um great looking figure probably the best of all these spidey figures I think you only get one he is probably the best one not a massive fan of the other sort of design there that's why it's at the back but talking about at the back, I do like, of course, that is the classic traditional Peter Parker Spider-Man you see there at the back. And I'm using a base again from Diamond Select. So classic designs. So again, if you want a classic Spidey, that is one to get. And then a couple of harder to find ones. I think they've actually had re-releases now, haven't they? But these are the original versions of Venom and Carnage. Carnage, I love the fact that he's got the sort of whole mouth but with the pink painted on it so it looks literally just like the comic book panel if you read absolute carnage you will find that exact carnage in there and there is a classic sort of more sort of mcfarlane style early venom there so that is a, a nice figure again it's a bit shorter but venom hasn't always been massively tall so that is the spidey section and that's it for the Marvel. So I suppose the time has come. Let me know in the comment section who has won this annual video of Marvel versus DC when it comes to Mafex. Because if you probably gathered, I only collect Marvel and DC Mafex. I try not to collect anything else from Mafex. I've had a bit of Terminator over the years. So I've had a bit of the boys. But they are in the sale pile because I'm trying to be a bit more strict when it comes to, uh, to figures this year. But that is Spider-Man to finish off that section. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. That is the Mafex Collection Tour for the start of 2024. Again, happy birthday to your boys, got toys. And thank you to Cheeky Monkey Kiara for that very weird intro we had today. So I hope you like that as well. And do let me know in that comment section below who wins this, Marvel or DC? In my opinion, I'm going to give the win to DC. I think they have got the better selection when it comes to the Mafex figures. So I'll do this video again in a year and we'll see if anything has changed. So if you have liked this video, please do hit that like button. YouTube loves it when you do that. And if you are, not, are new here, hit that subscribe button. And of course, tickle that notification bell so you know when the next video goes up or the next This Week in Toys live stream is happening. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I have been Jay. This has been Jay's Toy Collection UK. And I will see you, of course, on the next video.